right, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install X-Plane Map Enhancement, whether it's for X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a professional. This is just what I did to get Map Enhancement free version running on my game, both X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. So you're going to want to go to xplane.to uh, because this is where the author has his file for Map Enhancement. Now, you may have heard of Map Enhancement. It provides photorealistic textures in your base game and it goes wherever you go, meaning you don't have to download a bunch of auto orthos uh, for a specific region of where you want to fly. This lets you fly anywhere in the world you want and it will find the satellite imagery and project it onto the terrain for you automatically. It is essentially the same thing as auto ortho and makes X-Plane look more like Microsoft Flight Simulator as far as the scenery textures go. So download the file. It's gonna download an EXE file. You're going to save that onto your machine, no big deal. Next, you're gonna install Map Enhancement, the EXE file. It will install into your program files. From there, you can go ahead and hit finish and run Map Enhancement. Okay, so once you have a map enhancement open, and again, I'm currently using the pro version, but if you are using the free version, it is just the same thing. The first thing you wanna do is go down into your settings. It took me a minute to realize that this is how you started and got map enhancement configured. So once you're down here in your settings, you're gonna go down to base options. Now game path, you need to point this towards your simulator, whether it's X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12. The next theme is where you want your base package path. Now, this does not need to be in your X-Plane folder. It doesn't even need to be on the same hard drive as X-Plane. In fact, I have mine running on a totally different hard drive. Now, I have auto reorder set to on. That is by default. I have image quality set to high. Now, I think if you're running the free version, your image quality will be set to medium and you won't be able to select high. No big deal. Your textures won't look as crisp, but considering you can get this for free, yeah, I'll take it. Okay, ground resolution. Now I've adjusted this back to normal. I tried running it at high in X-Plane 11, and every time I loaded up at an airport, I had a bunch of issues with X-Plane saying that there, it, you know, the files were too big, and I didn't understand what to do to troubleshoot it, so I just changed ground resolution back to normal. Works fine for me. Preload is set to on. Preload distance, I have 10 nautical miles. Preload width, I have two nautical miles. And I think what this just means is, if you're heading down a certain direction and it is going to require a new tile to be loaded in, it is saying, okay, from a cone radiating outwards, left or right, two miles in either direction, and 10 miles forward, I will grab those next tiles to preload into the game. So you should not have any issues with not having tiles loaded in, unless I imagine if you're going incredibly fast or you happen to be in an area that is, you know, on the edge of two or three or even four tiles, yeah, that could make a difference. But generally speaking, you don't need it to be cranked. Okay, now my cache, I have my cache set to a different folder than X-Plane again. So my cache is set to one folder, X-Plane is doing its thing in its own folder, and my base package path is set to a different folder on a different hard drive. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is go down to the download area and hit check for updates. And it is going to check if you have the regions and if you have all of the files needed to actually download and stream ortho tiles. So after you've got your settings dialed in, you'll wanna go over to the update section and just make sure there are no new versions of map enhancement that you need to be running. If not, you are free to proceed next to the download section. Now, when I first opened up Map Enhancement, I totally missed this step and was wondering, why isn't it working? Well, this is why. Similar to how you install X-Plane, Map Enhancement works by letting you select the particular regions to download scenery into. So similar to X-Plane, if you only want to fly in North America, you download the North America scenery and terrain. For Map Enhancement, you can choose the same. I only want to fly in North America, so I will remove all of the other regions, except for overlays. Always keep overlays checked. From there, you would hit download and it will download all of the files that you need. Now, this could take several hours to do, especially if you have multiple regions selected. So if you know you want to fly in a very specific region, by all means, save yourself some space and some download time and just select that region. And again, always have overlays selected. Okay, so once you've got your region downloaded, you can go back to the home setting. Now, again, if you're using the free version, right, you will wanna choose whatever does not say pro. And this is essentially 
says, hey, when you're going to start generating and downloading the ortho tiles, use one of these satellite image providers, Google Map 1, Google Map 2, or Apple Maps. There's also the option of Bing Maps, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I've tried Apple Maps, I've tried Google Maps, and I tried Bing Maps, and depending on where I might be flying, I might actually change or reload the game with a different map. And that's the really cool thing about map enhancement is you're not stuck with just using Apple Maps or just Google Maps. You can actually switch in between any of them once you restart the sim, depending on where you're flying and which provider has the best ortho tiles. So that is a really fun feature. So you'll choose your map. And again, if you're using the free version, you're gonna be pretty much using just regular Google Map. Don't select Pro and you'll hit start. Now from there, you'll see a loaded and a leave mode. Leave all that as is, but essentially map enhancement is running. It is now waiting for your simulator to fire up. So now the game is loading in our location in Austin, Texas, and check this out. You can see all of the tiles it is loading up around my start point. And this is how you know map enhancement is at least working to download the correct tiles for your location. So let this run in the background. You don't even need to be going back to map enhancement. Once you have it running and you fire up your X-Plane simulator, map enhancement just chills in the background and you don't really need to go back into it. All right, so after your flight has loaded up, you'll notice that map enhancement has sort of stopped doing its thing. It's pretty much only gonna update now if it needs to get more tiles, it has done its job. So let's hop over into the sim and take a look. All right, we are here in Austin, Texas, and check this out. Photorealistic scenery, pardon the weather, but this looks phenomenal. Now, I'm also using Sim Heaven and Orbex Global Forest, so that is why my trees and roads and rivers are all aligned really, really well. But this is map enhancement. It is basically like auto ortho, but has a little bit more flexibility. I think with being able to choose different map versions or ortho tile sources, that's really, really cool. Now let's go somewhere else. And again, and show the beauty of you can literally fly anywhere that you have selected a region. You don't have to worry about, oh, I have to go get these tiles or whatever. And you'll see, Going from one airport to the next in a totally different part of the country, it is actually really fast. It does not add a significant amount of time. So the first thing it's doing is reading your new scenery files, and that is where, again, Map Enhancement is gonna be doing its thing in the background. It is saying, okay, where am I now going to be loading into? Let's go grab that scenery. And now it's done it. It's finished its async loading. Now we're done with preloading and Map Enhancement is now downloading all of the new ortho tiles for the new airport you're gonna be loading into. And check that out. That was not long at all. Let's hop out and explore Key West. And check this out. We have ortho scenery in Key West in a matter of minutes. We were just in Austin, Texas, and now we're here in the Keys. And again, this is totally free. What an amazing add-on for X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. All right, so we're gonna try one more location and I'm wondering where we should go. Let's go ahead and jump over to Salt Lake City. Because I imagine some of the tiles in that area are gonna be absolutely incredible. So we'll park ourselves over out of the way. Our weather is set to clear and let's dial it back to a little bit earlier in the morning and let's load up this new airport. And check this out. We are in Salt Lake City, Utah. The game has loaded in and look at the detail of the scenery. Again, I am blown away that this is completely free. You can see all the way to the horizon, we have a new scenery, photorealistic scenery all loaded in and boy, what a job it does updating X-Plane to look more like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to do a little bit of plane spotting. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.